in our previous video we discussed about meristematic tissues right tissues that had cells which could actively divide in this video we are going to talk about mature meristematic cells which differentiated and lost their ability to divide and we now call them permanent tissues well in this video we will look into the details of permanent tissue so permanent tissues are again divided into two further types simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue simple permanent tissues are the ones which are made up of just one type of cells okay and complex permanent tissues are the ones which are made up of different types of tissues which together performs one particular function okay for example let's consider this uh, here you can see it is all same cells forming one tissue and we can call it simple permanent tissue but here all these different colored cells are different tissues actually they are coming together performing one particular task and we can call it complex permanent tissue now in reality these tissues look nowhere near to what i have made on the screen okay i have oversimplified stuff here just for the sake of explaining okay now if we take a plant and cut it somewhere here we will do a cross section okay uh, the shoot area and if we look at it under the microscope obviously we will have to do a very thin slice from there it would look somewhat like this okay now we zoom in even further maybe this particular part here we will zoom in even further then it would appear like this now a major part or a major portion of this section is made up of simple permanent tissue and just a, a small part here and here is made up of complex permanent tissue okay now we will look into those complex part later in the video but uh, if we look at the other parts which are made of simple permanent tissue you will be able to observe that uh, it is of different shapes and also of different color which indicates that simple permanent tissues are again of different types so here are the three types of simple permanent tissue we call them parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma the most abundant of the simple permanent tissues are parenchyma which is also called the filler tissue so if a plant needs to fill up any area in the plant body it is mostly parenchymatous tissue okay these are living cells and they have very thin cell wall and are loosely arranged you can see the intercellular spaces between the cells right they are mainly responsible for storage of food so these are their function now there are parenchymata cells which are found in the leaf and they perform the function of photosynthesis because they have chlorophyll in them and because of the presence of chlorophyll those parenchymata cells are called chlorenchyma and again in plants that floats on water uh, these parenchymata cells are arranged in such a way that it creates air pockets between them like in case of lotus you, if you if you look closely you will see that these parenchymata cells are arranged in such a, such a way that it provides buoyancy and helps the plant to float so such kind of parenchymata tissue are called erenchyma now the next type of simple permanent tissue is called colenchyma they are again living cells but their cell wall is not as thin as the parenchyma instead there is deposition of cellulose hemicellulose and pectin in the corners of the cell making their cell wall a little thick and and leaves a very little intercellular spaces uh, in in the colenchyma tissue the main job of this tissue is to provide flexibility to the plant for example you must have uh, you must have seen how coiled and flexible tendrils are of climbers it is all because of the colenchyma now let's move on to the third and the final type of simple permanent tissue called sclerenchyma now unlike the other two sclerenchyma is made up of dead cells yes interesting right a living plant having dead cells but before we proceed let me tell you plants have more dead cells than living cells inside of them uh do you know we humans also have a lot of dead cells in our body our hair dead cells nails dead cells but we are pretty much living right 
So living organisms can be called living even if they have some amount of dead cells in them. Now this sclerenchyma or dead tissues, they make the plant parts hard and stiff and provide strength to the plant. For example, the husk of the coconut, how hard it is, right? It is made up of sclerenchyma. Now the sclerenchyma is so hard because the cell walls are thickened uh, due to the deposition of a chemical called lignin in them. Often the cell walls are so thick that there is no internal space inside. The lignin deposition is so much that it fills up the entire cell, making it a super hard tissue. This tissue is present in the stems, around the vascular bundle, in the veins of leaves and the hard covering of seeds and nuts. 